Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attaches. We're here to show you how to use a two bottom plow. This is a double plow with 12 inch mow boards. We're gonna show you how to adjust it and keep everything level for your gardening and field use. This is a 50 horsepower tractor, Kubota. This is probably the smallest tractor as far as weight wise with that much horsepower. So it's still gonna struggle just a little bit to pull this two bottom plow with, all, with these uh, R4 tires, which are what most compact tractors come with now instead of the R1 standard tractor tire. The tractor tire would pull better, but since most of them come with this, that's what we'll be using. Uh, even a tractor with a lot less horsepower, if it's an older tractor that's heavier, can still pull a two bottom plow with no problem. For gardens, I usually would use a single bottom plow if it was a small garden, unless I were doing a fill. But we're going to show you how to get everything adjusted right on a, on a double bottom plow. Seems to be going in pretty good, not quite deep enough. All right, let me let the back down, Peanut. We're in good with the front. I'll let the back down. And then we're running a little bit sideways, but we're gonna be on the first pass because after you make your first pass, then you're gonna run your tractor in the furrow for the next pass, and then you'll be back to level. So So it's actually turning the grass over, you've got grass on top, and then you're ending up with all dirt on the, on the top, and that's what you want. This grass has a, this has a lot of wire grass in it. Uh, if it's wadding up on the beam, we're going to put some uh, coulters on it that'll slice this wire grass before uh, the plow mow board gets to it. That's good right there. So now that we've made our first pass and the tractor's in the furrow, the tractor's on a slight angle there, our plow, we're going to adjust it to be more level now that the tractor's going to be... The plow, we're going to go just a little bit more. Now that the tractor's in the furrow, the plow is back level. That's why this pin here is offset a little bit, so to give your tractor plenty of adjustment to be able to level the plow once your tractor's in the furrow. So you can see the grass is keeping the dirt kind of pulling up on there a little bit. It's wadding up on the beams just a little bit, and so we're going to attach the coulters to it. So if you've got viney areas uh, like crabgrass or kudzu or something like that, it's going to cut it before it actually gets to the mow board. Okay, so we've made two passes here, which is four turns of the dirt. We've got a nice furrow here, but this wire grass is catching up on the beams just a little bit, so we've added the coulters to the plows. That's gonna slice the ground before it gets to it. We also have another option here, that if you had a tractor that had an up or down lift instead of a nice position lift, you could add this gauge wheel where you're just gonna simply let your plow down to the wheel runs on the ground, and you're not gonna have to adjust on your lift. But since this tractor has a good position lift, we don't need this gauge wheel on this particular tractor today. So what the coulters are, are basically two sharp discs that are gonna slice the ground before it gets to the mow board. So it'll cut the weeds and, and material like that so it doesn't wad up around this beam here.